Hello, this is your girl Photology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. Because I like this outfit so much, I was like, you know what? Let me show you guys how I make a popping icon. So, my icons are typically kind of boring, but you can do something to make your icons pop a little bit. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make an animated icon. So, you want to make sure you have a nice pose. So I think this is the pose I'm going to go for. I normally don't go for poses like this, but I'm going to go for a pose like this. Now I'm going to show you where you can take the picture from. So let's go. So I bookmarked this article. You want to bookmark whatever articles you get yours from. I got mine from the IMBU site. And basically what I would do is just go like this highlight it and right click and just copy and this will give you a picture without a background at all this over here if you have a background in your photos you can do the same thing right click and copy and then you will paste it into view and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about so right here right click copy I always use this for my iPhones. let's go so I want to make sure the picture is perfect I want to zoom in now that I copied it I'm going to paste so I go control V and it pops up here and all I do is click on that I wait for the perfect time and then I press enter and it took the picture and the picture will end up on your desktop let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so here is where it ended up at and this is what it looks like if you double click on it you want to put it into your folder where you can find the photo. that's what I normally do is I transfer them but this is what the photo looks like very simple no background so it's perfect Look out of that so let's go back and edit this photo the site I use to edit my photo is iPicky it's right here I P I C C Y dot com and what I do is I just open click open and I go into where I placed my photo Voila. So now what I do is I just click here on this part, the basic editor, because I don't want to do too much to this. I just want to make it simple and I make the picture HDR, high def. And I don't want it to be too much high def. The radius, I play with the radius too click apply and then this is what it looks like so it's a little softer here and then I just click save and it comes here so I've done that that was very simple now let's go back into So we're in GIMP. Now what I do is I open my background up, the background that I decide to use for my icons, whether it be this or black, it doesn't matter. Whichever background you use, it does not matter. It has to be 100 times 80 all the time. So what I do is I go file, open as layer. to have to resize usually I do between 200 and 300 so let's see what it looks like in 200 okay so this is what it looks like in 200 and I just move it around but if you're planning on doing a quick animated one you want to make it a little bit bigger than that so what I'm gonna do is undo undo and I'm gonna do it to 300 
Okay, perfect, you can see it. So, now we're gonna be doubling this. And when I mean doubling this, you're gonna right click duplicate. You're gonna duplicate this as many times as you want. But since I wanna do a small animation, not too big, not too hard, I'm just gonna do right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. So it's gonna be three parts. For this, I don't need to duplicate it right now, but actually I will. So I will duplicate it there. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna move this above. So this is what it gives you, and this will be the first part of the animation. So I will go layer, merge, down. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna unclick the eye once I merge down the first part. And then I'm gonna focus on this part. So this part is going to be going down more. Right here. I don't want to take it out of place. I want to keep it within the line. There. I'm going to duplicate that part. I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to layer, merge down. And I'm going to unclick the eye. So now I'm going to focus on this bottom part here. And I'm going to move this down a little bit more. Make sure it's on track. There. And I'm going to go layer, merge down. So this is what it would look like if it was being animated. See? But we're not done yet. I also have to add my logo if I want to. So I'm just going to make it easier so I don't have to have a separate video for adding the logo to these things. File, open as layer. And my logo, uncritical. And I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to duplicate it three times. Well, two more times. So duplicate. Duplicate. Now, for the first part, going to merge this down, layer, merge down. For the second part, I'm just going to unclick that, but for the second part, I'm going to merge this down as well, layer, merge down. And then for the third part, oops, goes right here. For the third part, I'm just gonna layer, merge down. So they all have their own individual uncritical logo. Now, what I'm going to do is I go into filters, animation, and I go to optimize for GIF. There, we optimized it. Now the next part is right clicking on each of these. So you're going to right click on the first one, edit layer attributes, and you're going to just add a extra zero there. So it'll be a thousand MS and you click OK. And you're going to do the same thing for each of these. Circle, I mean zero. And then you're going to do the same for here. Zero. And press OK and you're all set with that. Now, we're gonna go back to filters. We're gonna go to animation. And we're gonna go to playback. We wanna see what it looks like. And we're gonna press play. See? So everything stays into place. You're just duplicating very simple and although it is plain it's giving something it's not just a plain plain icon this is actually doing something now we see what it looks like we like it so now all you're doing is file I think you're either exporting or exporting as 
and you're going to change whatever the title you want. So let's just say, I wanna call it Club Fit. Club Fit. You're always gonna change this to GIF instead of PNG. And I go here and I go to my camera roll. I save it to my camera roll all the time. It's just easier that way. And you wanna click as animation. And sometimes it has 100, you wanna hit 1,000. And you put export. And your animation is all set. Now, how do I get rid of everything that I just did without losing my background? I have to undo everything. So what I do is I click X here and discard. And then from here, I do undo undo it takes a while but if you have a simple one like I just did it won't take that long and I just undo everything so I won't lose my background because you don't want to lose your background when you're doing this we're almost getting there it takes a while but it's worth it in the end sometimes you lose the background but it's easier if you had a black background or a plain background color, because you could always just make it again. But with this, I only have one of these. And I just do overwrite. And my background is saved. I get to use it again for my other products. So now we're gonna go into VU. Okay, so you upload. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. When you're doing the search keywords, you wanna put in known and unknown, but really good creators in this. Because when they're when people are searching up their stuff specifically, your stuff will also pop up. Even though you're not that creator, it will also pop up. And it, 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 it just makes things easier for the algorithm. So now, This is exactly what it looks like to do an icon. It's very simple. It's not that hard. And the dress looks good. And you wanna type in popular keywords as well. So you wanna do all the sizes, even though you may not cater to all the sizes, you still wanna put that in. So I would be like BBW, RLL, RL, thick, slim thick, you know, resizers, um, all the creators that you love that are popular or just popular to you, you can put it, their names in there. So anytime somebody looks up something they need, it pops up. You even want to put baby or uh, cheap or just, just anything that you look for in the shop. That makes it easy. Put all the colors that you like in here as well. Your stuff will eventually pop up. And that's how my stuff became popular as well. People may go into the shop looking for one thing and then come out with a total different thing. And that's just how shopping is sometimes. When you go into the mall and you wanna look for sneakers and you end up finding a shirt that you like and you end up finding things that catch your eye. That's what you wanna do in the search keywords always click unclick these and leave these blank and have this visible. If you want to just put your stuff on display you can click display but do not click allow derivation from this product because your stuff will get taken down and you will lose your account but anyway thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe click that notification button so you know exactly when i'm uploading new content and have a nice day